Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to show you a sort of subscription service that is available here in the UK and that is from the website Feel Unique and it is a sample based subscription service. I say subscription service as a sort of loose term because it's not a contract that you are tied into at all but it is something you can only purchase once a month so say for example you purchased it on the first of the month you couldn't then purchase any more samples till the first of the next month and what it is is you pay £3.95 which is to cover shipping and you get to choose five samples from around 10 or 11 pages of items that range from skincare to hair care to perfume samples to makeup as well. I used to sign up to this subscription as I say every single month and I did so for about six months. That was about a year ago and then they started not having many samples on there anymore uh, because I was generally looking at makeup as opposed to skincare and it is a great way to try products for not too much of a price and an even bigger bonus is that you actually get the £3.95 back to spend on the website. So say for example you try something that you really enjoy from the samples, you then get sent a code once your samples have been dispatched and it is a gift voucher code. You then enter in the website and it takes £3.95 off your total. I will show you the samples that I ordered. I've then also done a kind of cost comparison as to compared to the full size to work out how much each of these samples would actually be. So the first and I think cheapest sample that I went for was a Palmer's olive oil shampoo and this is a seven gram sample. I really suffer from frizzy hair and especially in the sort of humidity we're having at the moment I just can't seem to get my hair to go flat. I straighten it so much and that probably is making it worse in the long run but I just can't seem to get the frizz and volume out of my hair so I'm trying as many different shampoos as I can at the moment which again probably isn't something that's great for my hair so wanted to give this a try because the full size of this is only £4 so this sample is actually only worth seven pence. It's a good way to try a different shampoo that is something that I wouldn't mind purchasing the full size of because that's sometimes my issue with a lot of subscription services. They give you samples of expensive products but then if I do fall in love with that product I then would never go and purchase the full size. A good example of which is a facial oil that I recently received in I can't remember which subscription box and I tried it really really enjoyed it couldn't remember how much the full size was but thought once this is finished I will go and buy it and then I looked and it was £75 for I think 30 mil so I will no way spend £75 on facial oil so I will not be repurchasing that which is a shame because I do really enjoy the product but I just can't spend £75. In this one yes okay I have picked a few high-end ones but I've also picked ones that I legitimately want to try and would purchase the full size if I did like it. The next thing I picked was this Benefit Boing concealer. I have heard that this is really great for your under eyes and concealing dark circles so I wanted to see if it stood up to that claim and I think you just peel the sticker off and then there's a a bubble of a sample there that you just dip your finger into. This is a 0.05 gram sample. The full size of this is 3 grams for £17.50 so this sample works out to be 29 pence which again isn't a lot. I do legitimately want to try this and if I do like it I would consider buying the full size one. The next one we have is an Estee Lauder Double Wear Primer and my friend has been saying about how great the Double Wear foundation is and I actually went and got a sample of it from Boots to try because I do tend to wear a primer under my foundation I thought the best primer to wear would be the one that went with it so I ordered this so that I could try it with the foundation I obviously haven't done that yet because I haven't opened this but looking forward to giving both a go and the full size of this is £28 for 30 mil and this sample size is one mil. So that means that this sample is worth 93 pence. The next sample is a Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So I think this is a kind of primer or a glow. This says you can apply it all over your face as a flawless filter, which I interpret as being a primer, or you can put it on top of foundation for extra coverage. 
So this is a 1.5ml sample. The full size of this is 30ml for £30, which means that this is a £1.50 sample. So at the moment, for those four samples, we're coming at around £2.50, £2.60, something like that. This sample needs to be worth more than £1.50 for it to have been worth the money that I've spent. And the last sample is the one I'm most excited to try, and this is a Givenchy La Rouge Liquide. Don't know why I did that with a French accent. And this is my favourite sample out of them all because I like the way that it comes. Because when you get lip samples, sometimes you just get the little studs of the lipstick and that's it. But this actually comes with a little brush applicator. Which I thought was a really good idea. And also this is, I think it is like a liquid lipstick. Because if you look at the back, it says if you twist up the normal lipstick you get a dose of, I don't know what. Uh, there's three different shades to try. The one that's probably calling my name the most is the pink one at the top. But again, a great way to try a few different shades as well. And it says, it is a velvet finish that is blaring and hydrating. These three samples are 0.2 mils each, which comes from obviously 0.6 mil. A full size of these lipsticks is 28 grams, which I think is roughly 28 mil. And that is £28. This sample should be worth £6. I think my maths is correct. Would I purchase the full size of this lipstick if I like it? For £30, it is really expensive. But if I really like it, it's really comfortable and lasts a while, then yes, I would be tempted to purchase the full size. But really happy with this and say I just love that it actually comes with a brush because I can obviously reuse that afterwards. You're not always going to get your £3.95 worth of samples. But because you do get that £3.95 back as a gift voucher, it's not the end of the world. And there have been quite a few occasions in the past when I have had this and I have actually used it to purchase something full size from the samples that I had to try. So would definitely recommend it. And I've actually put a link to Feel Unique in the description box. I think if you sign up using my link, we both get 20% off our next orders, if I remember correctly. So if you are interested, use that link and I get 20% off. Just before I end the video, I wanted to also show you a few things that I actually picked up from Feel Unique. I've placed a couple of orders with them in quick succession in the past couple of weeks. The first one from The Balm. The first one is the Frat Boy Blush. And I've had my eye on this for quite some time now after seeing it on a few different YouTube channels. And I think the pan size in this is great. It's a really, really nice pink shade. It is quite pigmented, so you do have to go in with a light hand, I've realised. It's what I have on now. I may look like a clown, I'm not too sure. But it is a really nice blush, and it is easy enough to blend away if you do go a bit heavy-handed. Uh, but I do, I love the Balm's packaging as well, and it's magnetic, which is great. Next thing is the Balm Swing Eyeliner. And this is another one that I'd seen raised on quite a few channels. I did actually think this was a pen eyeliner. I didn't realise that it was a... Sort of dip one it does have a really fine tip and is great to get really close to the lash line i do have a couple of issues with it in that it's a really wet formula so i don't think i have as much control with it as i do with the Tarte manita one that i love can go a bit everywhere if you don't do it fast um, this also dries quite matte, which I don't think I'm overly keen on because I do like a lot of shimmer shades and I think the matte against it can sometimes look a bit harsh. But again, I have this on now. It's a great eyeliner, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it once I've used this one. The next few things I actually purchased with the £3.95 that I got back from the samples. First one is an e.l.f. Daily Facial Cleanser and this is the cleanser that I have in my shower. I really enjoy using it. It's really soft and gentle on the skin and it makes your skin feel nice and soft plus it smells really nice. So I thought I would definitely pick another one of these up. I then picked up another foundation and this is the L'Oreal True Match. I'd heard quite good things about this and did want to give it a try especially with having some money off as well so I have picked it up. It is what I have on today and I think it is a little bit too light. I got the shade ivory which is i tend to be ivory in most foundations but i did feel this was a little bit lighter than my other foundations but that it did oxidize slightly to match my skin a bit better 
I also have some breakouts at the moment and I did have to sort of go over quite a lot and put quite a bit of concealer on to cover because this didn't cover it on its own. But I think I only paid about five or six pounds, so I don't mind too much, but it's not the worst foundation that I've tried. I then picked up a couple of these Bior micellar waters. This one is the baking soda one and this one is the charcoal one. Because I'm not really sure on what actual skin type I have, I picked up both because it says this one's for combination skin and this one's for oily skin. I thought I'd give them a go and it is micellar water that I use on a daily basis to take my makeup off. And I do quite like things from the brand Bior, so I wanted to give these a try, plus these were both in the sale. I think they were £3 down to about £1.20, which is another great thing about the sample voucher, because it is a gift voucher as opposed to a discount code. You can use it against sale items, whereas on Feel Unique, you can't use a discount code against sale items. So that is it for this video, kind of a bit of everything, subscription service, plus a little bit of a mini haul there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks.